Andrew McCart, IFL TV, in association with MTK Global. I'm delighted to be joined by Mick Williams, a royal, but unfortunately, we've had some bad news uh, in terms of your fight with uh, Julio Cesar Martinez, the WBC flyweight champion. I just want to get your thoughts and just let people know what's happened of late. Well, you know, it's, um, it took me by surprise. Um, you know, uh, it got cancelled. I don't know if he got sick or got hurt. I've heard two versions. Um, we, we did a face-off earlier in the press conference. I'm really, really amused and very surprised by this uh, news. And, it, and it's true. The fight is not going to happen. Unfortunately, um, I did my part. I've been training so hard. I've been waiting so long for this fight. I've been waiting since last year from August 15th that it was officially also canceled because he got sick. You know, I believe in, in things do happen in life, but come on, repeatedly, it's kind of, uh, you know, harsh, and it's a disrespect for the sport and for myself. You know, it, it's not easy. But, you know, my, my team is talking uh, to see if we fight tomorrow for uh, interim or something like that because, you know, I did do all my work, all camp, you know, and, and to be noticed the day before the the weigh-in, official weigh-in, you know, I've been in weight since Wednesday, mm -hmm. so it's a little frustrating, you know, but hopefully we can fight tomorrow. Uh, it's, this is the third time, we were, we were speaking before we done this interview, this is actually the third time this fight has been cancelled, I mean, are you... Are you officially twice, yeah. But, but yeah, it was the third time, because there were uh, rumours, uh, you know, they told me like three week notice to, to fight again on before the 2020 was over, and I was like, if you want to fight me, you got to tell me with the time because this is a, a class fight, you know. Mm -hmm. I'm not just a step-up fighter. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think it's his hand. I think he put on his, his Instagram that he's hurt his hand. Okay. I mean, like, I don't know how how he's hurt it. Um, I, I saw a photo, but yeah. I looked at the floor. Yeah. Does your room have the same floor that you see in the photo? I, I noticed the, the carpet. Yeah, I noticed the carpet. It's yeah. not, it, it, there's no carpet in that picture, yeah. so it's kind of weird. I think it's an old photo? No, I don't. I'm not saying because I don't like to judge anybody, but I believe they should uh, get a, a, a doctor from the commission mm -hmm. to examine him. And you know, I do understand and I believe that things do happen. But you know, it's not my fault. I did. I've done all the work I had to do, and I believe um, the WBC should uh, take uh, action at this because it's not fair. Do you believe? that he's injured or he's hurt or he's sick. Do you believe that Martinez is, is hurt? Well, I do not know. I didn't, he didn't look hurt earlier when I saw him, but I'm not saying that he is not hurt, but I'm just, it's just unfortunately that we can't see that Puerto Rico versus, uh, uh, maybe we can if the fight, the, I do fight tomorrow if I fight another Mexican, mm. but I mean, this was going to be a classic football it's fight. Not, it's not the same when it's not for the WBC world title. Do you know what I mean? It's, it, this, is, this was a world title fight and we spoke a couple of days ago, we, we spoke and we said that this is going to be fireworks. This is going to be the show stealer. I mean, are you disappointed that you're not going to get to entertain the fans that you, you were hoping for? Well, I am, but um, my team, my, my company, Miguel Cota Promotions, and, and who's in charge of the fight, are talking to see if we fight for the interim uh, title or something like that. You know, because, like I said again, it's not my fault. I've been working so hard for this. I've been waiting four years for for actually, you know, I earned this spot. It's not, it wasn't given to me. I'm the mandatory challenger. And, uh, you know, I've been waiting for this since August 2020. And it's kind of frustrating. You still want, I take it, you, you still want to face Martinez in the future, but fourth time lucky or officially third, three time lucky. You still want to face Martinez, right? I, I want to fight the best out there, you know, um, but I can't be waiting just on him just to fight for a title, you know. Uh, but I'll fight him and anyone out there. I just believe that it put me on in the ring. I want to fight. I want to become a world champion, but I can't depend. My my career can't depend on if whether he's sick or doesn't get hurt. You know, I got to move on. Exactly. Have you got a message for Martinez that you like to say? Obviously, it's a fight that I want to see. It's a fight that boxing fans want to see. The Puerto Rico-Mexico rivalry, WC world title. There's so much into this fight that everybody wants to see not you and obviously you and Martinez as well two great great fighters I mean have you got a message for Martinez no I just you know if he's hurt his hand you know uh, hope you get a, a full recovery and uh, I understand this is a hard fight you have to be 100% so hopefully you get uh, uh, well soon and maybe someday we can fight 
Well, McWilliams, I won't keep you much longer, but I do appreciate you taking the time again. And I, I, I interrupted your dinner, so I thank you for that. Um, but uh, hopefully you can get an opponent for Saturday. If you do, I'm looking forward to the fight, so I've good luck. Yeah, I've been away since Wednesday, so yeah, I'm still on the wait. So, you know, I'm I just waiting on to, you know, do weigh in tomorrow and see if I could have fight. Well, I hope you do, my man. And it's been a pleasure to speak to you. Go and enjoy the rest of your dinner if you've not finished already. But thanks again for IFL TV. Thank you. Thank you very much.